My name is Sister Anna Kassa, and I will talk about my experience that happened on December 12, 2021, the angel of God came to me and took me to hell, and when I arrived there, I saw crowds of people in that part of hell, that I had never visited, then I went to a place and I saw a man who was separated from that crowd, and when I look at this man I saw that he was chained and handcuffed, his face was disfigured, his appearance was horrible because of so much mutilation that he suffered through these centuries, this man was chained and with the arms raised, and the demon stabs him and he screamed in pain, the demons tortured this man mercilessly, and the angel who was with me allowed me to talk to this suffering man, the man told me I am John Calvin, and he told me, I am in hell because I disobeyed God, this man preached the word but was distorting the Bible, and he told the people who live in sin that will not to worry, just ask God for forgiveness because grace would cover the sins of the people, this man inverted the word saying that people were predestined to be saved even if they keep living in sin, he taught that people were chosen to inherit the kingdom of heaven despite the failure to separate from sinful life, he taught that if we live a sinful life we don't need to bother we will never lose salvation for we were predestined to be saved in advance. John Calvin carried millions of souls to hell by encouraging sin and claiming that we were chosen by God through predestination even if we keep on sinning, the Lord God told him to come out of falsehood and get back to do his will. But this man did not listen, God asked him to do something for him to preach the truth, but he went against the will of God, who asked him to preach the truth. He did not want to preach the truth and sound doctrine of God and preferred to preach his own doctrine that he himself created, distorting the scriptures, this man despised doing the will of God preferring to do the will of the flesh, he was a rebel, now he is in hell he asking God for one more chance to come back and preach the true word, the angel told me, this man was not innocent, and that he knew the Bible very well, for he was a student of the sacred scriptures, still he refused to preach the true doctrine, then I went to another place in hell and the angel showed me the place of the actors and actresses of soap operas and movies, this place was prepared to receive TV celebrities, I have seen actors and actresses of the globe television, there was still an empty space to receive more actors and actresses, who are still alive in the earth, the demons tortured these TV station stars and the screams were desperate and horrifying, I saw famous shepherds and gospel singers in hell. Those who are alive on earth I saw their images in hell, so even the ones that live on earth are already listed in hell, I saw celebrity pictures already are in hell though they are on earth, I saw the singers of Marie Aileen Barrows, the minister Camilla Barrows Gospel and the pastor of Gospel Junior's Thunder. These evangelical celebrities are still alive but their images are portrayed in hell for preaching a fake gospel, these gospel stars are false and do not preach the word of God they only preach what please them and verses of prosperity. The hearts of these gospel stars are full of vanities and their lives are full of lies, and those who share the videos of these famous prosperity preachers in TikTok and YouTube are participating in their lies and will also go to hell, for I saw the images of those who publish the videos of these prosperity preachers in hell, and then the angel took me to heaven and we arrive in front of the apostle Peter, I asked him a question and he replied that peace must train between the brothers, it will not be the case for the peoples of the world that are not part of the church, Peter said that for peace to reign people have to surrender to Jesus and live in the truth and a holy life, things are going to get worse on earth, and many believers will watch as their loved ones die because they are playing with God, Jesus is the Lord, not an evangelical toy many Christians do the will of the flesh during the night and in the day they are in the church as if nothing had happened, and God sent a message that he doesn't get the worship of these believers, they leave the church to enjoy Christmas, New Year and Carnival, getting drunk, dancing, enjoying and prostituting themselves, they step aside from the way of Jesus to participate in the parties of the flesh and after attending these parties they come back to the church asking for forgiveness as if it were something natural and normal, God told me that he will not forgive these believers because they are trying to fool the creator himself, God said they can fool their pastors and everyone else but not him, nothing can be done hidden from his eyes, he said one more strict doctrine would come for church, 
tell the brothers who are preparing themselves to keep the word because the coming doctrine is stricter and ask the brothers to fight to stand strong because whoever falls in faith in these ends of times it will be difficult for to return to the way of the Lord, I finish my experience and I stay in the grace of our Lord Jesus.